guys, Lizzie here. Welcome to my channel. It's been a hot minute. Um, I haven't made videos or posted anything in like over four, five, I don't even know how many months it's been. I moved, obviously, new background, new everything. Um, also had some big life changes and it wasn't an easy few months, but we're back and I'm excited to be back and I really missed making videos and like I haven't checked my channel since I left so coming back to like a good amount of views on my stick and poke video was kind of cool <laughs> um because I never expected it to do that well but I'm thankful for it and I know this video probably won't do great but maybe I'll do more tattoo videos because I have quite a few and those are always fun so I thought to kick things off again I will do my summer glowy makeup tutorial because it's, what is this month, May? I've been out of school for like a month now. I did college classes and summer has been forever for me and I never know what day it is because I don't do anything. We're going to do some makeup today because I'm feeling productive. I'm just going to do a chit chatty, fun time, you know, nothing really crazy or anything like that because that's just not who I am anymore. I mean, I used to, I actually used to try back in the day, but today we're just gonna, we're gonna wing it and hope it goes okay. So I'm gonna take this Becca. This is the first light priming filter, the purple one, because the other one makes my face too glittery and this one just makes my skin look better. Oh yeah, I uh, didn't address that I dyed my hair brown, like dark brown. Blonde was just too much. I completely missed my hand with that. But, uh, yeah, my hair is brown. I got a dog <laughs> a couple months ago. His name's Webster. He's right in front of me. And once I'm done rubbing this into my face, I'll show you him. He's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. And he's my best friend. Oh, you can see him right there. He's honestly my best friend. I love this dog so much. Oh, uh... Cool. We primed our face. So, next thing, I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. I got the hydrating formula though because I have dry skin. Like, you wouldn't believe. Like, my skin hates me. It's probably because I don't take care of it, but you know, it's fine. So, I just sort of dot it around my face like that. No rhyme or reason. And then I'm gonna take this brush, which is a wet and wild, like, flat top. I don't know and I just buff this into my face because it's a little light for me because I've been swimming every day for like the past week so believe it or not I actually kind of tanned which is very hard for me usually I burn and I haven't burnt like super bad this year okay so that didn't really blend out how I wanted it to so we're just gonna go in with our hands I'm gonna take this contour this is hard candy highlight and contour face duo stick it's cream and I just put it into my cheekbones because we don't have cheekbones and I'm gonna do a little bit on my chin too not my chin my jawline what would you guys want to see from me <laughs> because it's been a hot minute since I've done anything and like I don't know if you guys want to see like tattoo stuff or if you want to see like fashion stuff or makeup stuff maybe I'll just do whatever the fuck I want that sounds like a good idea. I mean, if you have suggestions, though, go for it. I'm down for anything. I know I want to do, like, a tattoo tour, if that makes sense. Or, like, showing off all of my tattoos, because I have quite a few. And I feel like a lot of you guys subscribed from my stick and poke video. So I'm assuming that's what you would want to see. And... It's something that I'm passionate about. I really do enjoy tattoos, so I could do that. Um, I was also thinking about doing like outfits for tattoo appointments, if that makes sense. What to wear, like if you're getting a tattoo on your thigh, what would be the best outfit to wear for getting that tattoo or like a back tattoo or, you know, something. Why is there no mirror in the Aurora palette? But yeah, would you guys be interested in something like that? like? Or like how to show them off better. I don't know. I have a, I have a lot of ideas, but uh, just depending, 
on how I execute those. It's really difficult for me because I feel, or I used to feel like with YouTube, everything had to be perfect. Nothing could be even a hair out of place. I wanted my thumbnails to look good. And like looking back, I'm not happy with like half of my older content. Cause I'm, I'm just like, girl, you're trying too hard. <laughs> um, and really what I want YouTube to be for me is just like a fun escape time. I did not tell you what I did to set my face <laughs> or anything like that. I used the Maybelline Fit Me um, Set and Smooth Powder in 110 Porcelain and then I'm using the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon in like dark brown or something like that. It's the darkest one. No, it's not. But I don't know. It's in dark brown because I'm still trying to figure out like what brow pencil works best for my hair because I haven't been brown in a while, let alone I've never been this dark in my life. And I really like it because I feel like with blonde hair you just sort of have to try <laughs> all the time and I'm, I'm done trying. <laughs> so I, okay, I swear this eyebrow's not darker than this one, it's just because the shadow is hitting me weird. I'm sorry, I'm not organized at all. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. This stuff's pretty cool. It's not as good as my tried and true soap and glory brow gel. I need to figure out if they make that gel like individually because I don't want to buy the whole the whole thing because I don't like the brow pencil but I love that gel. That gel is perfect. So I still don't wear a ton of eyeshadow on the daily so in the summertime what I do is I take the NARS this is like their narcissist face and cheek palette I'm gonna take the big one, which is Laguna Bronzer, on this fluffy brush, and I just am going to pop that all over uh, my lid. Because I don't, I don't like eyeshadow. I feel like it is too much. So I'm gonna put this under my eye too. I'm running out of stuff to talk about. Um, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect Mascara. Um, they should still make this. I've had it for like years it's got a cool brush i like this brush but yeah we're just gonna pop this on our lashes i like them as dark as i can get them that's for sure i actually have some concerts coming up if you guys would be interested in me like vlogging you know getting ready driving going to the concert at the concert would you guys be interested in that because i'm going to see the neighborhood in june and then G-Eazy in August and Panic at the Disco some point in there. But if you guys want to... I might vlog the Panic at the Disco one just because I want that memory. I love Panic at the Disco. Favorite band ever. It was like... My first first concert was Justin Bieber, but like my first I Know What Music Is was Panic at the Disco. Because like it was the My World tour for Justin Bieber. And I was like... I'm popping. I saw my my boy JB. Okay, I gotta reply to my dad because like he's getting Chinese food and I would love some Chinese food. Oh my goodness, Webster. There's no one here, honey bunny. It's just the mirror making light. He's so dramatic, it's ridiculous. Okay, so next thing's next. I'm gonna put a little bit of Laguna on my face because I still don't look how I want to look. Um, I'm also going to take this like red blush. Uh, what are you called? Literally says three. So we're going to put number three onto our cheeks. I really don't really wear blush, but today it feels appropriate because like, why not? So I'm just going to like dab it all over my face. So it looks like I'm kind of sunburnt, but not really sunburnt, sunburnt, but like kind of sunburnt, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna take this Anastasia. This is the Aurora palette. You know that. I complained about it a couple minutes ago. But I'm gonna take the shade Eclipse, which is this one. It's like champagne-y, pink, fun. Sometimes I like an interesting highlight. And this is definitely one of the interesting ones. But it's not as interesting as like the green one which I honestly don't use. 
you can't even tell but I can tell and that's all that matters to me so next thing last thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss and this is in the shade vintage because I like pinks and this has like little gold specks of glitter if it'll Ooh, that's pretty though I don't like super like opaque lip stuff so okay so this is our finished look it's just sort of natural okay so I'll see you guys next week if I manage to upload or you might not see me for a couple more months but I hope I can continue doing this I just I need to get more comfortable filming when people are home because like I cannot make videos if anybody is in my house or else I just feel extremely awkward so I'll work on that I'll sort of I'll fix it but yeah I want to say that I love you guys and thank you for liking my stick and poke video so much because like I was kind of worried coming back after you know so long away but coming back and seeing everything on that video it was amazing to me I don't know it was it was really nice and thank you for everything on that and I, I do love you and I hope I can make more videos and I missed this <laughs> I really did miss it and I'm excited to be back so I'll see you next week